Yo, welcome back to another video guys. I hope you're having an amazing day and today I'm back doing some more battles between bosses and it should be an exciting one You guys can definitely tell by the title, but I did grind for another Malister the Undying TC This one is super annoying to get I mean, it's not that bad if you actually have a full team, but that means you have to have people that are down the farm with you and they know that you're going to be doing animus instead of using like actual enchants. And I hate asking people for help when I know that I can just get it by myself. So yeah, it does take a bit longer when I'm only using two of my accounts, but it still works out. And then another reason why it's super hard to get is you can see they cost 30 animus, unlike the other ones when they only cost 20. Honestly, I don't understand why this one is 30. Maybe they just wanted it to be harder but yeah it's okay and really quick before we do get into the video if you do enjoy these battles between bosses and you haven't already subscribed then make sure to subscribe i've been posting videos like this every single day and the grind against some of these bosses animus is pretty time consuming so i just really appreciate it so i did just create the treasure card and we're gonna be putting them up against the headmaster if you guys saw the video that i posted a couple of days ago where i put old Cobb or like what's his name the grandfather spider up against the headmaster you would have known that the grandfather spider absolutely destroyed the headmaster but there is a bunch of reasons for that with the main reason being that the grandfather spider does a bunch and i mean like so many shadow hits and i'm not talking like shadow enhance hits like lulu or like just the other ones you know weaver and shit even though he doesn't have that i'm talking like spells that do shadow damage instead of like just the normal spells damage and you can see that the headmaster is a shadow boss but surprisingly he has no shadow resist so since the grandfather spider could do so much with his shadow hits it was like pretty much unfair like the headmaster had no chance since he only has around 9k health but this time since we're gonna be using malister the undying you can see he's strictly a death boss and even though he is like the shadow version of malister the undying he actually has only one hit in his spell deck that's not a cheat that does shadow damage well from what i can see on the wiki that is and it's actually only his natural attack which i mean it does a lot but it's not as bad as what the grandfather spider could do. And then the main reason why this becomes fair is because the other hits that Malister the Undying has is like death hits and like strictly death hits pretty much. And then the headmaster actually has 70% resist to death. So then you'd be like 70 resist, obviously he should win, but then you have to go back to Malister Undying and his pierce is actually at 40. So even though the headmaster does have a bunch of death resist, Malister the Undying is gonna be piercing through most of that, but then the headmaster also has things like brace. So if he uses that, then it'll technically be at 50 resist. So I'm gonna be 100% honest. I feel like Malister the Undying still wins this fight. But I feel like it's going to be more even. And then also I did add some Mega Soothes. And if you guys haven't seen like any of my Monstrology videos. Then pretty much when I cast it on the Headmaster when I have my minion up. It just makes it to where he doesn't attack me anymore. So I'm going to go into the fight and we're going to actually test this out. After all of that explaining I didn't even explain his cheats. But okay watch if I just spawn in the minion right now it won't actually let me spawn him in. And then his cheats makes it to where he puts on a 999% shield like right at the start of the game. And then I pretty much just have to follow through his first cheat cycle and then I can spawn in the minion after because if you see I just draw that. I don't even know what that is like I don't even want to use that. I, I, can I? Yeah I actually can't. I literally just can't use it on anybody so I just have to follow his cheats first. And then I have to do this like homework shit. I could use a death one and get rid of the 999% shield for death. But I feel like I want Mouser to get rid of that by himself. So I'm going to get rid of a useless one. I guess I'll just use Storm. And then this part, I can literally choose any of them. It doesn't really affect the game unless I choose the stun one because then that stuns me and I don't want to be stunned next turn. So I'll just get rid of a couple pips. Then the last part of his cheat is just this pop quiz shit and I just have to pick the opposite school. So obviously it's life. And now that we finished up his cheat cycle, I can actually spawn in mouse there. So I'm going to do that. And now that it's the next turn, I'm going to use soothe obviously so that the headmaster just doesn't attack me and he's only actually going for mouse there you can see that mouse there is already going for a lulu but he's gonna be hitting through the 999 percent shield so this is literally gonna do zero uh, yeah zero like what and look at mouse there bro he has a death blade that's 50 percent the normal death blade is what 35 percent now and the headmaster has this weird version of like blizzard it's a star version but that does 676 
with only a trap? That's actually not even that bad, but now we have to go through this stupid ass cheat cycle again. That's kind of why I hate this fight, but the rounds do end up getting longer as the fight goes on, so it's not too bad. And you can see the mouse there also has to follow it, so literally just nothing happens in between these rounds. And now we're gonna see if the headmaster's resist actually does affect mouse there, because this is a Dr. Vaughn that does a thousand base, plus he has a 50% blade, so this should really be doing a lot, even without a crit. And he didn't get the crit, so 1300? I mean, shit. Bro, I feel like, yeah, Mouster just wins this fight still, right? Because he just healed back as well. But wait, what? I didn't even know Mouster had this. Age of Reckoning? That's actually crazy. What? The Headmaster just keeps going for, like, that mass hex thing. It's so weird. He's done it twice in a row now. And then Mouser the Undying has his Deer Knight. It does a lot more than the other Deer Knight or just, like, the normal one. Well, I mean, not a lot more. It's pretty much like an Enchanted Deer Knight, but his aren't like actually enchanted but wait you know what that bubble is actually insane and also this is insane glow bugs from the headmaster I i'll finish my thought later but a 25 blade plus a trap a 30 trap that's literally that i'm dead 2800 but on mouse there how much that's 3600 plus he just pip conserved so that was a really nice hit but what i was saying is that age of reckoning i don't think the headmaster can change the bubble an Age of Reckoning actually gives, like, Mouse there some death pierce. And since the Headmaster only has 70 pierce and Mouse there already has 40 pierce base, that gives 20 pierce. So now he pretty much just has 60 pierce. And then that just completely gets rid of all of the Headmaster's resist, except for 10%. So basically, the Headmaster just can't do shit. But now we're back into the cheat cycle. I'm dead, though, so obviously I don't have to do it. I think Mouse there just has to do it for two rounds and then we're back into like the actual attacking phase. Wait, what? He's going for another Age of Reckoning. The AI on some of these guys are so weird. Why would he do that when he already has a bubble up? I feel like they should fix that somehow. That probably should be fixable. And no, this is so unfair. He's going for another Lulu. Bro, if you guys watched the Mouse there versus Morganth fight or like, how, when did I do that? That was like a week ago. He just never went for Lulu. He went for it once the entire fight when he had like 50 million shadow pips. That did 750 to the headmaster, so not really a lot. But like I was saying with the Morganth fight, he just barely ever used it. And he's already used it twice in this fight. Wait, what? Yo, the headmaster just used... Wait, wait, wait. Does that minus one pip for four rounds? So we can't... Can he just not gain any pips? Or no, that's just minus. So if he gets a power pip, that just turns it into a new pip, I guess. That is so weird. But what I was trying to say is that Mouse there, he straight up just spammed Deer Knight in the one against Morganth. Like, I'm telling you, nothing else. He used nothing else but a thousand on that Blizzard. That was pretty nice. The Headmaster needs way more hits like that. He needs some more damaging hits. And also, he gets that Vengeance. And Mouse there actually just isn't gaining any pips. So I think he just straight up can't gain any pips for the four rounds that that aura is on him. That's super broken. He's been stuck at three pips for four rounds straight. And then the Headmaster is going for a Glow Bugs. Holy shit. If he gets the crit on this, this is a Shadow version of it. So obviously, he doesn't resist. He didn't even get the crit. But that did 2800 plus it takes his blade. I forgot the shadow one still takes his blade. That's actually crazy. But I'm so surprised he didn't crit, man. He literally has a vengeance up. That's so weird. Wait, is he changing his bubble? Okay, he got the brace up. That is good for him because he definitely needs that brace considering he has that age of reckoning up. And then we're just back in this stupid ass homework phase. I don't get it. Why does he keep doing this shit? Obviously, it's a cheat, but... It just doesn't even affect the game like at all. But now he's going for his star natural attack. That does 840. And I think that's only like four pips or something. No, Mouster is back to his old ways. Please don't start spamming Deer Knight. I mean, will it work? Lulu is better for the heal back, but Deer Knight does do more. So I wouldn't really consider it better because he probably would want the heal back. But I mean, it's still okay, I guess. Like this first hit is going to do a lot. Yeah, 750 through a brace and 70 resist. That's insane. But then 200 over time, not really that great. But even though you can't actually see their health, you can see that the Headmaster is significantly lower than um, Mouse of the Undying. But he is going for another Glow Bugs. This time he actually gets the crit though. 
and that did 3k without the blade plus he got the pipkin serve but yo master is going for the lulu now he's already used it three times in this fight but against the morganths when he needed it the most he would just spam deer knight i don't get it he was so bad against morganth but he just wants to be all good against the headmaster 750 like it doesn't even do that much but it's just the heal back to be honest lulu in this fight really isn't even that great because the main reason it was actually good in the morganth fight is because there was four of them in this one there's only one of them so he's not getting as much of a heal back but you saw the headmaster went into his shadow form it just goes poorly from here i'm not gonna lie he just never reduces his backlash and then he just takes a million damage it makes no sense but yo okay here 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 he's doing this um star version of stormhound and it does 150 per pip and the headmaster had uh how many i think he had like seven pips so it should be doing a decent amount over time and does it reduce his backlash i think so wait it didn't he's gonna take so much damage this is kind of sad i feel bad honestly this is i mean 2200 and then he gets the heal back because it's a drain but watch this 2700 it's so sad and then for some reason mouster is just spamming lulu in this fight it doesn't make any sense why couldn't i have this mouse there when i was going against the morgans it makes no sense but that's doing 700 over time holy shit but mouser definitely would have won the fight against the morganths if he was spamming lulu like he is in this fight that's four of them already and inside of the um inside of the morganth fight he only used one and then he used like deer knight 50 fucking times i think it was only like eight or ten or some shit it was something around there but still it's wild unfortunately though you can see that this fight is pretty much already over the headmaster took so much damage from that backlash and also i mean mouser did lower him a lot but still like i thought it would be a bit closer the main reason why i did think it was going to be close is because i didn't add in the fact that he could use age of reckoning and that gives him so much more pierce that basically makes it to where the headmaster just has no resist so instead of the 30 percent like i thought he would have the every single death hit he only actually had 10 which is just not enough and you can't actually see the health because i think that is just considered another one of the cheats even though it's not really a cheat because you can just look at his health over there I think it's close to like a thousand, probably even lower. But if we're being honest, he did get Mouser below, well, not below half health, but it is super close to getting him below half health. No, this Dr. Vaughn is definitely going to finish him off. He has so much pierce. He has two pierce blades on right now. Obviously, only one of them actually worked for this hit, but he has a pierce blade. He has the Age of Reckoning, and then he has 40 pierce base. That's literally 80 pierce going into this hit which means the headmaster has no resist plus he gets the crit that makes no sense well obviously it makes sense but still i i'm just pissed i thought the headmaster actually had a chance is he dead he's dead yeah i'm very disappointed with the outcome bro it's like mouser set his deck or some shit i swear he didn't use that many pierce things when he went against the morganths i know for a fact he didn't use age of reckoning like that came out of nowhere i swear he's never used it even when i was farming for the animus i never seen him use it he had to have set his deck and plus he used that like so early on too like did he use any hits before it i think he used yeah i'm pretty sure he used a vaughn before he did use age of reckoning but still he used it like right after that and that made it to where the headmaster had no resist and then at that point it's just over so like i've said multiple times now i'm disappointed not in the headmaster the headmaster did fine it's not his fault it's not his fault that mouser has 50 million pure shits but i still hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure to leave a like and also subscribe that really helps out my channel and anyways i'll see you guys next time.